question number 39 gives series of reactions with peroxyester. The peroxyester undergoes uh, dissociation to give various intermediates and in the two columns these four pathways are given and the next column the peroxy different peroxy esters are given. Now, in the path P the peroxy ester loses carbon dioxide molecule giving rise to a free radical and an alkoxy free radical. Now, if the peroxy ester is this since the peroxide bond is a weaker bond OO bond undergoes homolytic cleavage giving rise to methoxy radical and a carboxyl radical. The carboxyl radical being unstable will lose carbon dioxide gas giving rise to benzyl radical. So, the path P matches with the first option of the list 2. Now, out of the four options given the option A says P matches with 1. For the pathway Q here if the pathway Q is for this reactant here OO bond undergoes cleavage giving rise to carboxyl radical, carboxyl radical loses carbon dioxide giving rise to benzyl radical that is what we are seeing here and this is a tertiary alkoxy radical, tertiary alkoxy radical undergoes further cleavage giving rise to a 3 degree alkyl radical. So, the pathway Q matches with the third option in list 2. In the same way, the pathway R matches with the option 4 and the pathway S matches with the option 2. The correct answer is option A. We now move on to the last question that is question number 40 of the paper 2. Here we come to the last question of paper 2 that is question number 40. It gives certain compounds in list 1 and schemes, 4 schemes in list 2. Now, the compound given in uh, option P is ethyne. Ethyne when passed over red hot iron at 873 Kelvin undergoes cyclic trimerization forming benzene. Benzene on treatment with fuming nitric acid and sulfuric acid forms nitrobenzene. Nitrobenzene is further nitrated. We get metadinitrobenzene. Under these conditions, one of the two nitro groups is reduced giving us metanitroaniline. Metanitroaniline is subjected to diazotization. The NH2 group is converted into diazonium salt and on hydrolysis we get metanitrophenol. So, the compound P matches with scheme 3. Compound Q is resorcinol. Resorcinol is subjected to sulfonation both the OH groups are orthopara directing. The sulfonic acid group will appear at the ortho position with respect to either of the two OH groups. This is subjected to nitration. Sulfonic acid group being meta directing and OH groups being orthopara directing, the NO2 group will be introduced at the ortho position with respect to the other OH group. And this on hydrolysis undergoes desulfonation. So, we get a nitro group attached to the ortho position with respect to one of the OH groups. So, compound Q matches with scheme 4. The compound R nitrobenzene. Nitrobenzene is subjected to reduction with tin and HCl. It is converted into aniline. Aniline reacts with acetyl chloride forming acetanilide acetanilide is subjected to sulfonation. The sulfonic acid group appears at the para position that is subjected to nitration. Now, 
the sulfonic acid group is meta directing the NH2 group is ortho para directing so NO2 group will appear at the ortho position with respect to NH2 group this is subjected to hydrolysis so sulfonic acid group undergoes desulfonation on hydrolysis and we get the orthonitroaniline that is the final product form so compound r matches with scheme 2 the last compound is paranitrotoluene paranitrotoluene is subjected to oxidation by alkaline kmno4 at high temperature followed by acidification we get paranitrobenzoic acid paranitrobenzoic acid reacts with thionyl chloride forming paranitro benzoyl chloride and that reacts with ammonia forming paranitrobenzamide that is the final product so compound s matches with scheme 1 this is the correct answer of the last question so i thank you very much for hearing the solutions of J Advanced 2014 Paper 2. Thank you.